Yes. He came to my house. After the peacemaking, after we have done peace, the family have made peace and prayed. Everybody was now very happy that the, past, the family is now peaceful. My husband, senior brother, now came to my house. I cooked good food and gave him a very good portion with happiness. Unto, unto say, good wife, let me now shine. This is my turn to shine as a good wife. And I give him a good portion of the food I cooked. And he now required that I also give, give him some that he would take to his uh, son, Jewel. And I also gave him a good portion so that he gives to uh, Jewel. Even if my children did not eat, even if my children don't, we did, before the food, we, did, uh, we didn't get a reasonable part of it, I was happy that at least the family is now peaceful and we have made peace and my, my husband, senior brother, want to eat my food. I never, little did I know, little did I know that. His plan now was, since we have made peace, is this time that now I will kill you. He now, the wine he brought to give me was poison. He poisoned the wine, and my mother-in-law drank the wine, and my daughters, my two daughters, drank the wine. He now bought. This is people have made poison also. People, listen, learn, hear my story. This is my story. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, according to wherever you are at this particular time. You're all welcome back to GG's TV, where you have your gist undiluted. So, let me give you my intro before I start. My fellow YouTuber, Ndoma, 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 my fellow YouTuber, Ndoma, 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 my fellow YouTuber, Ndoma, eh, my fellow YouTuber, Ndoma, eh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the magwa kwa wane ya, Ndoma, Ndoma, my fellow YouTuber, Ndoma, Ndoma, so guys, my last video was about how I carried my baby for a year and a year. My husband's senior brother confessed that he was the one that did it. My, the person that did it said that came out. Because my my husband's senior sister, they are all alive now. They are all alive. I'm not exaggerating anything. So my husband's senior sister was very sick and was taken to a herbalist. He was take, she was taken to a herbalist by her senior brother. So when she got there, her senior brother began to ask her, make inquiries about me. So uh, uh, the herbalist began to make inquiries about me. The herbalist began to ask her that how is her younger brother's wife? How is she doing? She said that she's fine. The herbalist said no, that he's about to confess. By then, the herbalist was very sick now. So he said that he was, he's about to confess that what he did to that girl was very, very bad. That they even buried a, <clears throat> they even buried goat that is pregnant alive so that I will die with pregnancy. Not only that, they buried a ram that is pregnant in my house in the night. That they did all that to make sure that that girl dies with pregnancy. That the girl carried the pregnancy more than she's supposed to have was because of what they tied her. That they have, that she he is very very surprised that that girl survived that pregnancy and carried it and have the baby. My senior sister, my senior. My husband's senior sister said that she shouted and said, what? Was it why that girl carried her pregnancy for one year and yet had it and woke up after three months? 
he said yes that her god is so much alive that with any god that girl is serving any girl any god that girl is serving is a living god indeed that he did everything he could to make sure that that girl died that i die with pregnancy but god with god was on her side my senior sister is alive now i'm not exaggerating exaggerating anything i'm saying it exactly how it was and the reason why i'm saying it why i'm bringing it to time light is because other ladies other girls that will go to that will, that will go to all, uh, families that are like this to be very very careful very very careful with their life and their things their pants their waist, their everything yes because he said that they took pants I kept in my house and I gave my husband-in-law and uh, my mother-in-law the key. So they went inside the house and picked everything they're supposed to have picked. But yet, that God did not allow it to work. That was how he was confused. That God did not allow it to work. He now begged my sister-in-law to ask me to come to their, uh, to his house so that he will undo other things they did in my head in their head not mine anyway so you guys should be understanding what i'm saying so that i should come my senior my husband senior sister kept pressurizing me to go to go to go to go my husband said <laughs> that he was not there when god did it when god eh? When God served his wife, when God liberated his wife, that he was not there. So that he's not going. That was the kind of man I married. I loved him so much. My husband was a good man. So he said that his wife is not going, and I too. That's not how I could have wanted to go, because when God is in heaven, I called God, he answered me. All the thing, all the thing that practices they did, God put confusion in them. And God changed their language like he did to Ahithophel. Yes, that is how God will do it to all of you that anybody will plan to kill with pregnancy. Yes. So, all the things they plan, everything. So when I now came out with my baby, one day I'll bring this my baby in this channel. You'll see it. You'll see her. So all the things they planned was was nonsense rubbish now i never knew all this thing was happening one day my brother-in-law now called me my brother-in-law now asked me if um, that, that he, he has been so sick for long now that he has been so sick that he needs a traditional uh, herbalist where uh, he can go and get cured. Do I know of any? Before he passed tense, you know, more My daddy was an old man. When you are born with, by an old man, eh, the kind of sense when you go pass for your head, eh? So. And now reason and told him yes I know a very big traditional herbalist I know he now said where does he live I said he's living up heaven that is where he's living up heaven my senior brother my husband's senior brother now throw the soup he was eating because he was eating 
as we are having the discussion. Now throw the soup and Gary and said, I should get out of his house. I should get out of his house. Obe 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 Yeah, that. A little girl like you that started you don't know. I laughed. And now left his house because I came village, I visited village, so I went to greet him, to show my respect to him. That's when he began to ask me that question. So guys, you guys will be very, 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 very careful. Now, to the men cocoa of the gist, the cocoa of the gist now is, after everything, this my daughter was about three years now, so the, the Dibia that did that thing now came to my husband's village and confessed all the people he, uh, 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 he placed costs on their head. He now called my, my husband's senior sister, that was one of them, that he made her not to get married. That my husband, that my husband's senior brother was the one that made her senior sister not to get married. That, that, my, senior, that my husband's senior sister did not marry. See, today, even the one he tried to marry was a flop. It didn't work out. So the, the Mahabalist now pointed to my husband's brother. Said, it's you that made, that came to my place and made their sister not to get married. And it's you that wanted to kill this girl. That's me. It's you that wanted to kill you. You've tried everything you want to kill this girl, but it never worked. Don't try again. I'm saying it now. The, the God of this girl is bigger than you and I, and even me, Alaji Rororo. That was his name. Even me, Alaji Rororo. So, now, all my brother's husband were against their senior brother. So later, the senior brother now began to beg and beg and beg and cry that it was Satan. I should forgive. I should forgive. I should forgive. Everybody should forgive that it was Satan. Now, when the man now left, my husband's second senior brother now went and brought some people and they came and made peace between all of us. That we should forgive since everything. So that everybody should forgive and forget. We all accepted my sister. So all of us now travel back to our uh, destination. So about six months and now came home. Because it was during the time of famine, so my 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 mother-in-law begged me to come and help her farm. So I used to she she used to love me so much because I was the baby of the family. So I now accepted and went. So as I was going, I bought a lot of things to eat with my children. So on a list in JJ and I hear now to the Kumbaku. So I now went home I was cooking one day like this one fine stew and rice and stew with a good fish I bought and it may require no sense it's the way he can see so as I was cooking my brother-in-law now came and entered my house I said hey the aroma his perceiving is so interesting so delicious so nice I said no I didn't because no no doctor Guys, my brother-in-law just sat down No, I brought a better food. Even the portion I used to, the portion I give my husband, the kind of portion I give my husband, that's the kind of portion I gave him. The big portion, you know, when you're trying to, you know, so you want to be a better wife, you want to shine now like a better wife, yeah? you want to shine now, eh? so more so we just made peace. So I want to shine, I pass a lot of food. To him, my brother-in-law sat down and eh, do justice. He did justice to the food. So after eating the food, he now begged me to put another one so that he will send to he will take to Jewel, his uh, only son. 
because the first wife had two children, but he he drove her away. So I now remarry. This one had only one child. So I happily packed food in my cooler. So when he wanted to go, I said, "Now, give me two more minar, two no more uh, wine, because he said palm wine tapa." He came, he 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 went to palm uh, to tap palm wine. So he branched to my house with the pot of the palm wine, and I begged him to please give me some now because I used to like palm wine. So my my husband brother now said, "No, that I should wait. That he's going home." to add it uh, there's this um herb they used to add to palm wine and the flavor will be so nice and um it has a lot of uh, a health benefit anyway and also um it's, it it has uh, some alcohol uh, content in it so my husband-in-law said my father-in-law said that who is who happened to be my husband elder brother so said that i should Wait so that you go and add those things and you send it. Apparently, everybody will say that's uh, that's okay, that's okay, with no no grudges in mind. She understand. After I just ate the food I cooked, so I now waited. He now asked my mother-in-law to come so that he will pick the wine for me. You guys know this um <coughs> this but this a uh, small um. Small kettle, this our set people used to use that fanciful kettle. I used to like it, so that's the kettle my mother in law went with and brought the wine. So when he brought, she brought the wine. She now said that her son said that he should not drink with me. Oh, I said, Why? He said, She said, No, she he gave him, he gave him a good portion that he she took a good portion. So he said, Because of a uh, it should not be a uh, gluten on my own, no, it should not be all over, okay, you know. So gluten on my own, so I shall allow me to take my own with my children. I said no problem. My mother-in-law kept it on top of my table. So as she kept it on top of the table, what happened to me? I don't know. I just forgot about the drink and went to sleep. So when I woke up, I now remember the drink. As I wanted to go and take it, I slept and kicked the drink it fell and poor on the ground i was fidgeting i said hey if my mother-in-law see it now eh, my mother-in-law will say that i deliberately kicked it because i don't want to take it after all his son has eaten my food but i don't want to take his wine so i now hurriedly and clean it up and it remains just a little my mother-in-law now came when he came now he said have i finished that uh, drink i said yes i remain a little for her she said, so, you know, she was uh, helping me. So, he now called my two kids. They drank that wine, not knowing that they have added poison. So, guys, I will leave you at this junction. I will leave you at this junction so that you will now deliberate on what I have said. My next video is about what happened later. What happened later? Keep watching and see how people are very, very wicked. So guys, share this video, like this video, comment on this video, and also subscribe to this channel so that you will be hearing all the gist, everything about brother-in-laws. Eh? It happened to me. You will hear it on this channel. Just subscribe and sit tight watch so that you will learn because the bible said that a foolish person will see whole and enter it but a wise person will see it and dodge she understand that's what the bible said so keep watching i love you guys so much love you guys so much and god bless you all as you subscribe to this channel and love this channel share give me like and thumbs up please i need it i need it i am out to expose all of them what they did to me. Thank you so much for watching.